Well, September is Prostate Cancer Awareness Month, and according to the American Cancer Society, prostate cancer is the most common cancer among men besides skin cancer. It can also be treated very successfully, and here to talk more about the disease is Dr. Judah Friedman. You are a very busy man because you are at Good Samaritan Palm Beach Gardens along with Florida Cancer Specialists. Thanks so much for being here with us. Thank you. So prostate cancer is something that can develop over the course of years very slowly, but but it is treatable. Yes, absolutely. It's very treatable uh, and much easier to treat if you catch it early. So this uh, month we want to really raise awareness about uh, doing your screening for prostate cancer. And generally we recommend that people get screened uh, starting uh, around the age 40 to 50. Uh, earlier if you have a family history of prostate cancer it's very important or if you're african-american heritage that's also really important to think about getting your screening at age 40 and then 50 if you're at a lower you're at risk lower risk or average risk okay correct. all right so what should people watch out for what are maybe some of the symptoms that can indicate that you know maybe you should go get checked out so definitely if you're having any trouble uh, with your urination or any discomfort or pain that's out of ordinary uh, but the most important test that you can do to, and is to do a PSA a blood test with your doctor on a regular basis. If your PSA is extremely low, they may ask that you do a PSA check every couple of years. But if it's uh, elevated, they'll do a repeat PSA and send you to a urologist for additional testing. Okay. And how is prostate cancer treated? Well, there's been uh, a lot of advances. Uh, most men, uh, if you are actually uh, very low risk based on, based on the biopsy results, you can actually do something called active surveillance where you watch your PSA um, and do occasional biopsies. If you're a higher risk category uh, and you desire to have treatment, then you'll discuss with your doctor about doing either surgery, uh, what's called a radical prostatectomy, or radiation treatment. Is there anything that men can do to prevent prostate cancer? Well, there are. It's, it's a lifetime uh, of uh, conscious uh, efforts to uh, improve our health. Uh, so that includes uh, diet, exercise, uh, not smoking, um, and keeping the weight off. Those are all things that can help uh, reduce your risk for prostate cancer. But the most important way to prevent uh, and treat prostate cancer is to catch it early. So early detection is critical. That early detection, like you were saying, there's just so many advances now yes. with treatment. Yes. Some of the most exciting advances in situations where prostate cancer is more advanced, uh, we do use anti-testosterone therapies, but one of the most exciting new advances is a liquid radiation called Pluvicto, which is a molecule that we infuse in your body and it targets radiation directly to the prostate cancer cells. And, and is that through like an IV or? It's, a, it's through an IV treatment every six weeks and we have that available at Good Samaritan with Florida Cancer Specialists. Okay, Dr. Friedman, anything we missed that you want to add? Anything that we should, we should say? Just encourage your family and friends to get uh, screening for prostate cancer. It's very right. important. Wonderful, thank you. And there are some events where you can learn more about prostate cancer. We have them there on the screen for you and also all of this information that Dr. Friedman just spoke about is on our website right now, WPBF.com. Just go ahead and search prostate cancer.